guys what is up and welcome to my last big cheat day in Tokyo stay tuned it's really early in the morning and my plan is to go first to McDonald's for breakfast why McDonald's we are in Japan guys because we don't have in Germany McGriddles for example and I really want to McGriddle I really want to try McGriddle uh, because it was the last time in the USA and I miss the flavor I love the McGriddles and then we will go strictly to uh, Donut Plant New York guys finally it's time for Donut Plant New York and I cannot wait because last time it was closed but uh, this time definitely we will have our donuts and I hope they got the three leche I don't know but we will see so stay tuned right now it's time for uh, McDonald's first and just to let you know guys today I want to eat just whatever I want to so we will have a lot of food definitely so this video is going to be a longer video so so just to let you know grab some snacks grab some drinks subscribe to my channel if you're new and just like I said I'm Alan from Germany 27 years young and right now it's time to eat guys love you all so stay tuned for the first meal <laughs> And here we got the mini pancakes from McDonald's. And with the mini pancakes, we got condensed milk and the applesauce. Like this, and put them everywhere. And also the cream. I think it's condensed milk or cream cheese, I don't know, we will see. I'm not the biggest artist, but let's try it out. Itadakimasu! Oishi! Mmm! Mmm! They're amazing! The sauce, the apple sauce with the... I think it's condensed milk or cream cheese, I don't know, but it's a sweet milky cream. Together with the pancake... Oh wow, this is amazing! This is fire, this is... I don't know why we don't sell this in Germany and exactly that's why I want to go to McDonald's like, for breakfast for something that I never tried before and what we don't can get in Germany mm. Mm. Whoa. so and here we got the egg and cheese McMuffin but this is not all let's put the hash brown egg and cheese McMuffin Itadakimasu! Japanese eggs and hash browns. Also, we don't have hash browns in Germany. I don't know why. So let's try out the new milkshake, guys. Whoa! This is so weird, such a fruity grape, so sweet, with the milkshake, with the ice, but it's so refreshing and delicious. <laughs> Damn! Hell yeah, trust me guys, this, you definitely have to try this. But this is the McGriddle, finally, the McGriddle that I really want to try for such a long time, because we don't have them in Germany, with a big fatty chicken. And definitely hash brown, a chicken patty on a McGriddle, guys. Let's see. Oh my god. This is so amazing. So much flavor, so much is going on. Whoa. Now it's time for the beef hash brown McMuffin, guys. Also created by my own. So, itadakimasu. The beef flavor is not strong. I gotta say, beef at McDonald's here is really bad. The sauce. And also the hash brown is amazing, you can taste both, but you cannot taste the beef. Mm -mm. No meat flavor. 
a little bit disappointed. Oh my god, I'm sweating as hell. The humidity is crazy, but I'm happy that I got a different shirt with me <laughs> to change it up later on. But guys, yes, we are at Dona Plant, New York City, right in the back. In the Minato area. So let's get in and let's find out what they offer. I really don't know, but I really hope that they got the Tres Leches, the Three Leche Donut. It's a cake donut, but it's one of my favorite donuts of all time. So let's get inside and... Um, tres leche, uh, Kyoto Uji green tea, um, uh, vanilla bean, hi, um, and Brooklyn uh, blackout, hi. Here we have our. Donut plant donuts from Tokyo, and I'm super excited. So, here we got the number one seller vanilla bean yeast donut. Here we got my Brooklyn Blackout from New York, and I love this donut. I have to try it again. It's a cake donut. Here we got my all time favorite cake donut, well, the Tres Leches. I'm really excited how this, how this is going to taste here. I really don't know. And uh, the matcha one, so a Japanese one. Definitely, we need a matcha donut today. But look at this beauty, guys. Oh, wow. So, itadakimasu. Definitely a blackout after eating this donut. Oh my god. So rich and dense. Like in New York. Exactly like in New York. Super moist, super delicious, super heavy, and I think easy 500 calories for this one. Easy. The outside is chocolate, chocolate sprinkles, a brownie batter in the inside. I never got a vanilla bean, I think, from Donut Plant, so let's try it out. So, Terakimas. Wow. A little bit refreshing because of all the chocolate, guys, but the vanilla taste is amazing. And the yeast. Mm. Whoa. It smells really bitter matchery on the outside, but I hope it's sweet in the inside. Let's try it out. I'm super excited. It smells. This is a punch in your face. The dough is again a cake donut. I think the yeast will be better with the matcha glaze. But it's dense, it's heavy, it's delicious. Really much for everybody who loves matcha, this is your donut. Shinichi, trust me, this is your donut. This is so powerful and strong. Mm. Mm. Better. Mm. Guys, it's so amazing. It's so delicious, but I gotta say, my donut. My Tres Leches donut from New York was better. 
a really good one. And just because I have some milk to the bin, it can not be better. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, this 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 bite was fire. Really moist. Mm. There we go. Cheers. Let's buy it. Cheers to Jeff, to New York, Donut Plant. Love you all guys. You are amazing. Oh yeah. I'm so happy right now. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I hope it's still cold. Oh, is this your wallet? Yeah, my wallet. <laughs> From my home country. Some oh, stuff. Okay, this right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, right now it's time to go to Ichiran Ramen in Shinjuku. They got a spot with chicken broth, it's a new spot. I really want to try it out. But first I will look for a restroom and change my shirt because I'm sweaty as hell guys. But I'm happy that I got a new one with me. Much better right now, much better. I like this kind of a private room guys. Really everybody have his own little room and can eat and do whatever he wants to do. So I have everything so let's now it's time to wait for our noodles. And here we got the box guys and I think when I will open this up then we will got our ramen in this box. I never saw this box before. Maybe this is different because this is a no pork spot. Oh wow. Look at this beauty guys. And strictly the smell and wow all the chili. Oh wow. You can see the fatty oily broth all. Oh. Fake broth, beef, green onions and the noodles. Oh wow guys, look at this glistening. Oh the smell. Ah. So, itadakimasu. And in the normal Ichiran restaurants, where they sell the pork broth, and especially over the days, it's every time packed in a line on in and for a chain it's crazy so I really need to try the ramen and I gotta say they're amazing Shinichi thank you so much for the advice that they got right now also a spot here in Shinjuku without pork broth and it's amazing it's amazing I highly recommend only for the broth right now oh is she so Mike Cheng just to let you know when you see this video please Please come here and try this out. You will love it. I want the chili over on oh, the ramen. Look at the noodles. Oh wow. Oh, they look perfectly. I cannot wait to try them out. But right now I want that the soup becomes everywhere spicy. But right now I want to share my first bite of the noodles with you all. <laughs> oh. oh wow, guys this is amazing, this is heavenly, this is really the... Mm. I cannot believe that this is the chain. And this, and the spot broke 24 hours. Before I leave, I will come again. So, a little bit from the throughout the beef. Oh, so fatty. 
and juicy. Oh, is she? Oh, I'm in heaven, guys. So I will enjoy this right now. The noodle bowl is empty, guys. Go to show some Adeshta. It was amazing. 10 out of the 10. I will come again. And next time, I will order more noodles then. But not on this sheet day today. Just to let you know. Mm. Ah. Best. Best ramen ever. Oh, wow. Ichiran ramen was amazing. I feel like I gotta say, but I took strictly the train to uh, Akihabara again just because I need the cronut before I leave uh, uh, Tokyo. Oh, just because it's too good. And here you can see the donuts, and I gotta say, it's my favorite spot for donuts in Tokyo. Yes, guys, I love donut plant, but the price is sometimes just too crazy. I pay for four donuts so much. And here the price are really reasonable. So for one krona you pay 220 yen. So you can for a krona. Oh my god, they are. Moist it is. It's so amazing. And I'm so happy that I only come for the cronuts here again. I knew all the donuts and I gotta say, Jack and the Donuts is one of the best spots for me. But damn, the cronut hits the spot. It's so delicious. Oh. Let's finish this amazing cronut and then it's time to go back to Shinjuku. They have a lot more to eat. A lot more. And here we are guys at Lotteria, it's a, I think a Korean burger chain, but here in Japan. And maybe you saw my Korean street food cheat day video. I really want to go there and eat something, but it was closed. So, and here we got the menu at Lotteria guys, and I ordered this one. So this is a shrimp avocado burger with tartar sauce and cabbage, but for me without the cabbage. In the menu with some chicken flavored fries I don't know we will see also a teriyaki beef burger I order and this new drink this is a mango frappe or mango ice frappe I don't know we will see so and here we have our food so here we got the shrimp ebi burger guys with some avocado cream my first teriyaki beef burger guys I got teriyaki chicken but never beef and here we got some instant noodles chicken flavored fries and also a new mango flavored ice drink so let's see guys i'm super excited for these burgers so we will go first with the teriyaki burger so we got the teriyaki sauce onion chopped onions the beef patty and as well some mayonnaise and yeah a lot of teriyaki sauce but in a really soft bun i gotta say it feels amazing wow and the smell is also really good mm. wow. i gotta say this is my first time that i try beef with teriyaki and it works Definitely. Mm. It's like bulgogi. 
I highly recommend it, but it's really expensive, I gotta say, 300 yen for this small burger. <laughs> mm. But it's good. Ice mango orange flavor, it's amazing, super refreshing. Mm. Let's throw out some shaka fries. So. I love the texture. Crispy and really perfectly fried. So not oily, nothing. Mm. But the potato flavor is so strong that you really cannot taste so much chicken or the ramen noodles. Anyways, the seasoning is still good. Perfectly, not too salty. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right now I could feel a lot. Great job. But let's come to the Eppie Burger. I'm super excited for this one. See all the avocado cream, it looks amazing. And the shrimp patty. So uh, there's supposed to be a lot of shrimps in the dough, in the deep fried dough. And a perfect bun. Itadakimasu. Wow! A lot of real shrimps and together with the avocado I never have a taste like that before and it's amazing. Oh Jesus, oh wow! Mmm! Perfectly fried. Sakuto texture, just perfect. Look at this guys. You can see all the shrimp chunks. It's it's a really good burger. I prefer this. I have to stay more than the beef one, but it's a fish burger. Mm. I'm sorry, but here, you know, shrimpy. Guys, they have a big menu. Check out the menu. It was not too much just because I ate so much before. And I have to eat some more. But just to let you know, Loteria is, I gotta say, a good place for fast food, definitely. I prefer this more than Burger King here because Burger King got nothing that is really special. But this one was really good. Okay guys, in the back there you can see it, maybe the L, it, there was the Loteria spot but I saw here right now also Curry House Coco Ichibanya and, and maybe you saw my uh, first cheat day video guys, definitely you have to check it out I was at Gogo Curry and I loved the curry, I was in love and I told them my friends but uh, one of my friends say that Coco Curry is even better and uh, it's really a famous spot as well like Gogo Curry so I think it's more popular than Gogo Curry I don't know but I really want to try it out so and just because it's one of my last cheat days that I record here in Japan let's try out Coco Curry so what is really cool you can choose your curry so you can have with pork you can have with beef some hashed beef then you can order also as well the uh, amount of rice and your spice level So guys, and here we got our curry, so you can see the curry consistency strictly, it's more soupy 
it's more like a soup, not like a big curry. Then we got the delicious, good looking chicken katsu, I gotta say. It looks perfectly fried. And under everything, we got a lot of rice. Oh wow. I'm super excited to try this out right now. Okay. Strictly the spice is coming. Strictly, but also I can still taste the curry and the flavor is delicious. More like a Indian kind of a curry for me. But it tastes really good. Mmm. And with the rice, oh wow. Oh no, my camera becomes too dark. Mm. Oh wow. It's really good. So this is a chicken katsu guys, so deep fried chicken cutlet. Let's try it out if it's crispy and delicious and juicy like from Gogo Curry. Super crispy. Super hot. Mmm. Oh. Perfectly fried. Not greasy, nothing. You can taste really the chicken. Mmm. Oh gee, wow. I have to eat it and then we will see at the end which one will be better. And this time I uh, charge a little bit my uh, camera. So I'm still charging guys, just to let you know. And still eating. If you want something that is a little bit sweeter, go to Gogo Curry. It's a unique taste for me. This is really good, I gotta say, and I also like this one. But I am a little bit more into Gogo Curry. For me, it's a little bit better, just a little. But the rice, the chicken, in both places are amazing. So, let's eat it and enjoy. Mm. Go to show some of that yeah, it was good. So, Coco Curry was amazing. And after Coco Curry, I go to Ion to a supermarket and buy me an ice cream sandwich that I really want to try for, I think, two weeks right now. Crispy sandwich, cream brulee, green tea matcha flavor one. I really don't know if this is good, but let's try it out. Damn, I love Japanese packaging. I think the wafer tastes like matcha guys and the inside looks like creme brulee maybe kind of a caramel matcha flavored ice cream sandwich but it looks really really good maybe you can see it guys a lot of matcha ice cream is coming out it's melted so fast because of the humidity but it's so crispy and delicious. Mmm. And then a hot shell cream brulee flavor. Oh wow. And inside again matcha ice cream. This is amazing. Definitely. Oh wow. Oh our way to Harajuku here. Takeshita Street, the street that is full of crepes and a lot of other desserts. So let's end our cheat day here. I think this is just the perfect area to end the cheat day with something that is sweet. They are all right now here in the food cart, guys, but I don't care. But they're all here just because of the K-pop band, I think. A lot of girls, oh my god. And here's the food cart. So some places where you can buy a lot of Unhealthy stuff, definitely. So guys, in the food crowd, I think I found my final spot. I really want to try the cup kakigori for a long, long time. And here we got a lot of delicious flavors. So I think I will go with some, I think matcha and red bean or kinako. And I also want to try the churro ice. So this is uh, Oreo churro, I think, with some ice cream. Oh yeah, let's try it out. Guys, let's end this cheat day with something that is really sweet. 
So here we got some deep fried Oreo churros that I never saw before with some ice cream. And I really want to try this out right now. Amazing milk ice cream guys. The taste is amazing. Mmm. And with the Oreo crumbles on top. Perfect. Here we got one of three and look at the size. Wow. Guys, to be honest, nothing special, but it's delicious. It tastes like a true, but just with some yeah chocolate flavor. But I cannot really taste the Oreo flavor. But the combination of a warm deep fried dough with cold ice cream works perfectly. Mm. Okay. That was good. Let's try one more snack. It's a Japanese shaved ice with condensed milk in the ice, kinako powder on top. This is soybean powder, it tastes like peanut butter. Then we got anko also on top, so red bean paste. And here we got some mochi bites, I think, also. And I cannot wait to try this out, really. So, so it's time for my last meal. And after, I think we will end this video at home because here it's really too loud. 11.30, still the same day. Really super light, just perfect for the end. So, itadakimasu. the ice without toppings is delicious because of all the condensed sweet condensed milk I would prefer to mix it up to get all the taste everywhere but it's okay it's so delicious mm. don't forget guys just let me know what was your favorite item from this day I don't know how many calories but easy over 10,000 easy when I think about all the food oh my god but I gotta say it was amazing guys I'm full we see us at home for the end. So guys, I walked all the way from Harajuku to Nakano. And right now I gotta say I feel way better. It was an amazing, amazing cheat day. I'm super happy that I ate everything and I go a little bit crazy sometimes. But uh, I got to do it just because it's probably my last cheat day here in Japan. Just because I got my fly in two days, I want to ate just whatever I can and whatever I want and I don't care about my physique right now I gotta say yeah guys I hope you appreciate that I spent so much money and all the work and so I wish you all a great morning great day or great night I don't know when you see the video guys I'm Alan 27 years young from Tokyo love you all much love peace harmony Mwah. we see us in the next video sayonara